your chest. Yes. Is that a black issue, right? What are you talking about? Um, on Miss Massa, Massa Musa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's Ma yeah that's Massa okay. Musa. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shalom and greetings and welcome back to another episode of Israelite Talk TV where you get the raw, real, unadulterated, unbiased truth 24-7. Now in today's session, family, we got Mr. D. Rose in the headline, okay, Mr. Shot town legend. Um, and you know, he's going to go down in the books as one of the greats. Uh, you know, I feel like if he never got injured, he would have went way farther but uh, Mr. D-Roll tells us that the Most High had other plans for him. So we're going to be getting into that here in a quick second. But before I do, as always, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you share this video, okay? Make sure you do your due diligence, okay? Because you know that they have me shadow banned. And what I want people to understand is that sometimes we get caught up in trying to be first and well i got this and you know all of the stuff that you know we tend to get into and it's no problem with that but what we got to understand is that we are in an information war okay it doesn't matter who get the information out there first or what plan long as the information is getting out there to the people this is the most important thing you know so i don't get caught up if you know if i use somebody's stuff or somebody use my stuff because as long as we're using this stuff in righteousness, this is all that matters. We have to learn how to start sticking together, okay? This is a problem that we have, you know? When we start sticking together, they cannot just target one person and say, oh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna stop this person. But no, you, because everybody is seeing this stuff and, it, and it's all out there. So you can't silence everybody because then what? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have nothing on the tube. So this is what we got to start doing. We have to start sticking together and um, doing our due diligence, okay? So now, with that being said, let's get into the message. Now, I had a video that came across my desk uh, by Math Hoffa uh, and D. Rose, and I want you guys, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box. Make sure you guys go watch that video, run those uh, views up, run those likes up, and also share that video and get it out into the circuit, because I, I believe this was a very powerful uh, segment of this uh, particular interview that they did with D. Rose. Um, and a couple of things that D. Rose brought out as well. The first thing that he uh, lets us know that he he understand that we are the Israelites, okay, the people of the book, you know. And the other thing that he was bringing out is about this, uh, this new program or his business that he's doing where He's trying to help educate our youth. And we got to get behind stuff like this, you know, because this is big. Um, you know, our children are being targeted. And I have an expose that I'm getting ready to do on the hip hop industry on how they are sacrificing our children. OK, and so we have to get behind this positivity and this things that's going to shape because you got to remember that our kids are the future. So what you feed and give to those kids is how they're going to conduct themselves and, 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 and you know because they're the future you know this is why they always target the kids because if they can get the kids the kids is the next generation you know if we can dumb them down then we have a whole nother dumb generation that's coming on onto the scene so we have to elevate our people and we have to start protecting our children so i have an expose that's coming on that but like i said the thing with uh, D. Rose here, this is powerful. And he lets us know that uh, if it wasn't for him getting injured, he would still be in the circus, being programmed, you know? So we're starting to see how uh, a lot of these, these some of these celebrities are now starting to come out, you know, right behind Ye. Now we got D. Rose speaking about us being the Israelites. So they can't keep silencing us. and. A lack of knowledge and understanding who we are is what's is what our demise truly is. Now think about this, right? When we look at this situation with uh, with Ye, right? We have to understand that you're telling me that out of all of the hate speeches, all of the stuff that are said about all, you know, whether you are is whether you know it's the Israelites here in this nation, whether it's uh you know, religious, Christians, Muslims, and all of this hate speech and all of this stuff that's being stated 24 seven throughout the web. You're telling me 
that the statements that Ye made was so big, where you had banks that wanted to drop him, you had, uh, 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 you know, these big major companies saying they're dropping him and all of this other stuff. You're telling me that it, that was so big. Now, he didn't say he's going to kill anybody. He didn't say he's going to rape anybody. He didn't say he's going to kidnap anybody. All of this stuff that they allow to be promoted in our communities. He didn't say none of that. And yet they're canceling this guy. OK, so this is telling us that the information its an information war. This information of us being Israelites and being the people of the book is big. Think about that. When you look at what just happened with uh, a while back with Gucci, right? And uh, they try to assemble together and try to, you know, and then you have people like Floyd Mayweather that said, well, I'm gonna keep buying Gucci. I ain't forget them. They ain't support me. The, the, you know, this cool mentality, right? Europeans are not thinking like that because they know that this type of information the people understanding this is their demise. See, what people got to grasp is that our history has already been written from the beginning. It's already been written. The father has already told us that we was going to be in these lands and captivity, that he was going to send us here. And when we turn back to him and keep his commandments and seek his face, he's going to deliver us out of here. This is why people like Adidas, that 250 million, what, 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 what is it like with, with, with Adidas, something like that? These people are sellouts at the top. They cutthroat. But these Europeans know better. They will lose that 250 million and they will unite together because they know that it's going to cost them way more when the people when, when, when the father moves us up out of this place. You know what I'm saying? Because this is not our home. This is prison. This is where we have been sent to do the time that the father has sent us, us to because of the rebellion of our ancestors. This is what people got to understand. OK, so, you know, we have to start having these educational um, moments where we're talking about stuff that matter. Think about this. Remember when they had Noe under fire, right? What was one of the things that he said? He said, this is not think champs. This is dream champs. Basically, so they're setting up this platform, these platforms in order to keep our people in a seduced you know, in a seduced state where we're just thinking it's all about entertainment and having fun instead of really thinking about what it is that we're supposed to be doing. You think we just sitting over here in the U.S. and we just we just African? We're, we're no, no, we're Israelites. You know, and people have to understand that. See, this nation is ran on lawlessness. Okay. This is how everybody get paid lawlessness. And by keeping the people in lawlessness, this is how these people are continuing to reign. So this is why we have to start cleaning up these neighborhoods, our communities, and make and making sure that we that our people is turning back to the most high and not just sitting around getting caught up in these low vibrations and this and this in this in this, de, in this in this demonic activity that's going on in a lot of these communities where our people are at. It's time to start cleaning this stuff up. So I salute that boy, uh Derek Rose. And I'm standing behind this positive stuff. We we have to we have to start doing more, you know, things like this um, in our communities. And I'm gonna continue to keep standing on business. Um, and you know, we gonna we, we you know we getting ready to get down through there, you know. And I, and I think this was kind of fruitful because one of the things that Math Hoffa was bringing out about how when you go back and you look at the ancestors, King David and King Solomon, these were black people, you know. One of the problems that I have with these Europeans is they are habitual liars they just lie you know i don't have a problem because i understand that we are in prison we're in captivity and the father sent us here they haven't done anything by their power they might it was the father you know and instead of them just keeping it real okay they have to lie and try to whitewash history okay when you go back right and you look at the history of the europeans the one of the first civilizations of the Euro of the Europeans are the Greeks. Okay, now the Greeks. Excuse me. When you go look at the Greeks, okay, their 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 ancient writers, people like Homer, um, Herodotus, uh, Euripides, and Aristotle, these type of people. When you go look at them, they tell you that they sat at the feet of the, of the Egyptians and learned from black people, the Kushites. Okay, so what you got to understand is that if you're sitting at the feet 
of Egyptians, black people, and learning from them. How in the world was you in Egypt or any of these places before our people, you know? And so what they did is, is back during the days and times of Alexander the Greek, when he took over um, and crushed the the, uh, the Persians and went into the uh, went into uh, Egypt and, and, and conquered all of those areas, this is when they began to start whitewashing everything, okay? And they want you to believe that, oh, these were, but they wasn't there though. And they ancient writers proved that. So why would they go back and try to whitewash all this history, make it seem like these people were white people when they know that these were black people that was over there in these regions? So this is the problem that I have with that. And this is why we have to continue to keep educating our people because if not, you're gonna keep believing all this made up fake history. You know, they want you to believe all these Bible characters were Europeans when we know that these were black people. You know, so at any rate, uh, like I said, y'all go over there, y'all watch that video, y'all share that video, run those views up, because once again, we have another Israelite coming out and saying, oh yeah, we the Israelites, you know what I mean? So uh, y'all stay safe out there, stay strong, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, family. Shalom.